Today I'm going to talk about baseline reports and then I'm going to move on to just reports in general. I have a fair amount of ground to cover, not a whole lot of time, so let's go ahead and jump into this session. And of course I'm going to begin by talking about baselines. How do you know what constitutes good network performance and what indicates that an issue is about to happen? This is where baseline documentation comes into play. Baseline documentation provides a snapshot of the network when it is running efficiently, at least hopefully when it's running efficiently. Baselines are usually kept as a log file. At the minimum, baselines should be established on CPU utilization and network bandwidth utilization. You may also base mark other functions as you deem them to be relevant. Network administrators should perform periodic tests against the baseline to check to see if the baseline is changed. They will change over time. And in order for network administrators to know what constitutes good performance on their network, their baselines need to be current. You can use Window Performance Monitor to help establish the baselines for your network. Let's talk about some of the items that should be considered for baseline reports. First up is network device CPU utilization. Knowing the CPU utilization on a piece of equipment can help to determine when a network device is going to fail. If your CPU utilization is constantly at 100%, you know there's a problem. That problem may be that it's going to fail or it may be that you need to install more network devices to take care of a growing network. But you won't really know that if you're not baselining the CPU utilization. Network device memory utilization should also be baselined. It can help to determine when it is time to expand the memory of a network device. A good item for baselining is bandwidth utilization. This can help to determine the overall health of a network. It can help to determine when network segmentation should occur. It can also help to determine if a network device is about to fail, particularly if it's creating a storm of data. Baseline utilization reports can help identifying when a security breach has occurred. You might want to consider baselining your storage device utilization. This can help to determine when storage utilization has become a bottleneck on the network, where your storage device is actually causing the network to slow down because there's too much data being pushed into it, which means that baselining your storage utilization can help determine when to increase the storage capacity of that network. You might also want to baseline your wireless channel utilization. This can help to determine how saturated the wireless channels have become. Once it's been determined that your wireless channels are saturated, a new wireless access point can be installed to alleviate the pressure and then you need to create a new baseline for wireless channel utilization. This baseline can also help to determine if there is unauthorized wireless access occurring on your wireless network, especially if there is utilization on a channel that is not supposed to have any utilization. Now let's move on to analyzing reports. Before we talk about analyzing reports, let's talk about log file management. Log files can accumulate data quickly, and unfortunately, some administrators only review log files after a major problem has occurred. In most situations, this is a case of too much information at the wrong time. Good administrators will set the proper reporting levels with their logging software. They won't be logging all that debug information, that level seven information, unless of course they're actively debugging a system or application. Good administrators will review log files and compare them against their baseline documentation. They do this to find issues while the issues are still minor and before they become major. Log files should also be kept and archived in case there is a need for historical data. When you do archive your log files, you should follow the organization's data storage policy. 
something to consider is that you may want to create running graphs of important metrics that are captured by log files. Graphing the data gives a quick visual reference, making it easier to spot issues and trends. Many logging applications give the administrator the option of creating those graphs easily and quickly, but then again, they don't do you any good if you don't review them on a regular basis. If you're having an issue with a router or link, one of the first things that you want to do is you want to run an interface report. 